I'm Ali Grayman, the founder of The Grayman Method. I am one of the original coaches to help people fully recover from OCD. And after thousands of clients, my message is still the same. You can fully recover from OCD. On this channel, I show you how. Before we start, I just wanted to remind you that I do daily OCD recovery videos. So if you don't want to miss one, hit the subscribe button now. Today, I want to talk to you about supplements that help in OCD recovery. Of course, as you know, I am not a doctor. Whenever you're trying anything new, please consult your doctor. The one supplement I cannot recommend highly enough is valerian root. There have been studies on valerian root and OCD, and it is something that you take for an immediate effect. So this is not a supplement that you'll take over time and over the weeks. You might notice a difference. It's not like that. It's a fairly right away reaction. I would say if you're taking a tincture, you can expect the reaction within 10, 15 minutes, if not even sooner than that. Um, I do recommend for valerian root to take a tincture. Um, you can check the dose on the package. There's not really any side effects that, you know, I have experienced or really anybody in my family. Uh, valerian root, if you don't know, is used in Ukrainian uh, culture for generations and generations since the beginning of time. I don't know. It's been uh, from great grandparents. So it's very well uh, tested and it's very safe. I've never heard of anybody having any severe side effects. It's not addictive. Um, I do recommend though taking it only when you feel like you need it. So, and even not when you are experiencing an OCD attack, because by that time it's probably too late and nothing will bring you down because your uh, cortisol and adrenaline spike to the sky, right? But right before, there's this weird situation that happens not every time, but a lot of the time, right before you develop, uh, an, when you experience an OCD attack, um, where you have this, it's, <sighs> It's hard to describe it, but maybe I can describe it to you by like buzzing in the body that you feel like your body is kind of uh, just has a weird feeling, like a pre-anxiety type of feeling, like you're about to get a thought, but the thought has not really formed yet. Kind of like that. If you have OCD, you know what I'm talking about, because most people have experienced that at least a few times. So that would probably be uh, the time to take it. So if you feel like you're about to get an OCD thought, an OCD attack, probably that would be a good time to take it. Also, if you're having problems sleeping because of OCD, it would be a good one to take. Another supplement uh, is called Relora. This is a Chinese supplement and it's also been tested for generations and generations. So test it over time. That's the, that's the stuff I really trust, guys, is stuff that's tested over time. Not some company did a study. Okay, that's great. But what about when people took it for generations and like with Valerian, my mom took it and my grandma took it. And, you know, it's, I know because, and that's why I share, right? So Relora has been tested through families for generations in Chinese culture. It's a combination of two different herbs. You can Google it. I find that the difference between Relora and Valerian root is that generally Valerian root makes you a little more sleepy and Relora not as much, but maybe depending on different bodies, people react different. So don't take my word for that. See for yourself. All of these things are very common. That these supplements are very common. You can find it in any health food store. I would recommend tincture for both uh, valerian and relora. Again, I am not a doctor, so talk to your doctor before starting anything new, okay? Um, so this is the stuff that these two are fast acting supplements. So this is right, ideally right before you have an OCD attack. But even through the OCD attack, it would be something uh, worth considering. Again, herbal, natural, um, that's, that's the way I usually like to go. Um, so now there's additional stuff that you can take to support nervous system to support uh, obsessive, uh, stopping obsessive behaviors. Again, um, one thing I wanted to mention is that the, I don't know of any medication or supplement that will just take all of your OCD away. So if you're listening, thinking that that's the case, that is not the case. This is only to help you do recovery work. 
you still have to track, you still have to reduce, you still have to disregard, you still have to not do compulsions as much as possible, not ruminate as much as possible, get off Reddit as much as possible, right? Um, so all of those things are still important, but this is kind of like a little crutch temporarily as you're going through it. So ashwagandha, fantastic for nervous system. Um, I'm sure you've heard uh, some people say GABA. I don't have a lot of experience with GABA, so I'm not going to vouch for it, but I've heard some people take it. Um, a common one people take for OCD is NAC. Again, um, I, don't, I don't have any personal experience with this, but from clients' experiences and uh, what I see online, it seems to be effective. Um, you can read some of the reviews, so NAC, NAC. Uh, supplement and OCD. Um, another one, and I've talked about it in other videos, is uh, recently there have been studies with vitamin C. Out of all the things, vitamin C, where um, uh, it reduced obsessive behavior. I've, I've forgotten rats or mice or something like that. So another one. So this is kind of uh, things that are uh, readily available that can help you support the recovery. Again, this is not a way out of OCD. This is just a support, right? Um, milk thistle is another good one. And generally, milk thistle is very good for you. So look into that. So milk thistle, NAC, vitamin C, um, zinc for some people, depending on the situation. Uh, what else? Um, I, I, I've heard a lot about inositol, um, but... I don't know. I, I've, I've heard a lot about it, but when I remember when I tried it, when I was in severe OCD, so this was like a long, long time ago, right? Uh, uh yeah. Um, it didn't really do anything for me, but some people say that it does. So I'm just putting it over here just so you're aware. Magnesium, very important. Um, also, if you are having sleep issues, Things that help you sleep uh, can help, like herbs that help you sleep, um, again, as a temporary situation. A lot of the time, actually, about sleep, and I'll make a separate video on it, but people ask me, well, what can I do if I just can't sleep? And in my opinion, well, really, what can you do? You're going to get up, be a zombie for the rest of the night, and then have a bad day the next day. So I would say uh, taking a herbal supplement to help fall asleep, I think, is uh, something um, worth worthwhile looking at, again, in my non-professional opinion. Um, but yeah, but th those ones are the ones that uh, I, I would recommend taking a look at if you want to go down the supplement route. You're not going to get a result out of it in the way of full recovery, okay? Again, I'm saying it for the third time now. This is only to support what you are already doing and make it a little bit easier. I hope you find my videos helpful. Subscribe if you haven't. If you would like to book a talk with me, all the information, as always, is on youhaveocd.com. I'll see you tomorrow.